Let us continue in our series of meditations on the theme of the five aggregates. Uh, for that purpose, let's get into our meditation posture. We are sitting upright and relaxed. Uh, you can check whether there's any tension in the body. And if yes, relax that part. Today, we will explore the feeling aspect of the mind, Vedana. And when we speak of feeling in Buddhism, it refers to the effective tone of experience, whether it's pleasant, unpleasant, or neither pleasant nor unpleasant. You can also call it neutral. Very simple. What I'm experiencing right now is that pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Maybe we take the body first. The body as a whole, as an entity, in its entirety. How is the body in general feeling now? If there is no miscomfort, oh, maybe it's quite pleasant. Often it's actually not really pleasant, often it's just neutral. That's already quite good for the body. Because very quickly it can dip into pain or unpleasant feeling. But often, if there's no special, painful, unpleasant experience, it's rather neutral. Likewise, we can ask ourselves, how does the mind feel right now? Just in general. Is there a sense of well-being, ease, maybe calmness or even joy? We would call that pleasant mental feeling. Or maybe it's more neutral. Neither pleasant nor unpleasant. Or maybe there are some concerns or worries that break the mind. And we would call it unpleasant. Just now we distinguished between bodily, physical and mental feeling as to the source from which the feeling arises. If the source is mainly physical, some of the body, we call it a bodily feeling. If the source of the feeling is more mental, it's a mental feeling. But the feeling itself always belongs to the mind, to Nama, does not belong to Rupa. 
It's a mental phenomena, the feeling itself. It may be triggered on the body base or based on the mind, but it's still a mental experience to feel. A dead body has no feelings. The body is still there, but there's no feelings arising based on the body. Let us look a bit closer at bodily feelings. The breath, for example, breathing in and breathing out is a bodily phenomenon. Would you describe that as rather pleasant or unpleasant? or neutral. The experience of breathing in and out. For most people, it's most of the time rather neutral. It's not painful, but it's also not fantastic, right? Maybe sometimes there's a bit of itchiness, itchiness on the skin, which we usually experience as a little bit unpleasant, uncomfortable. So it belongs in the dukkha category. Sometimes you feel a nice sensation of coolness when the wind touches the skin and you feel a bit hot already and then you can feel the cool breeze of a fan or air condition or the wind. Oh, how nice. So it would be pleasant bodily feeling. Pleasant feeling born of body contact. You can check different parts of the body. Are they pleasant, unpleasant or neutral? The head area, around the forehead, around the eyes. Or the shoulders and chest. legs, knees. Most places we identify are either neutral or a little bit unpleasant maybe, isn't it? These are feelings born of body contact. Feeling is a mental phenomena, but the source, the origin, the contact originated on the body base. Oh, 
However, there are also feelings born of mind contact. Imagine a person hearing that he or she has won the lottery. How will the person feel? Pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral? Strong, pleasant feeling. But the origin is the mind. It's pleasant feeling born of mind contact. On hearing the good news, sure, it might also affect the body. The body might also feel quite elated on account of that good news. But the origin is a mental one. It's some piece of information. The idea of having won the lottery it's a mental origin. Or when we go to the doctor and he tells us that there's some sickness in the body or maybe a friend or family member was diagnosed with terminal cancer in the worst case. It's an unpleasant feeling, isn't it? Sorrow, grief, so unpleasant mental feelings, born of mind contact. Again, of course, they may also have an effect on the body, maybe on hearing that bad news the stomach cramps up or the person gets even a headache of course the headache itself would be a bodily feeling the stomach cramp would be a bodily feeling but the mental aspect of having heard the news it is a mental feeling it's a bodily feeling yeah but uh, having heard the news, of course, would be the mental feeling. Dormanas, unpleasant mental feeling. Now, how does the mind feel? Is it pleasant? Is it unpleasant? Or maybe it's more neutral. You cannot say it's pleasant, but also cannot say it's unpleasant. It's just in between somehow. The goal of this practice is not to remove all the unpleasant feelings and to try to get only pleasant feelings. Right now we are just trying to be mindful of the range of feelings, physical and mental, that we can experience. We just notice them, that's all.
sometimes when there's nothing going on, the mind will get a bit bored. Boredom, what is that? Is it pleasant, neutral or unpleasant? Actually, it's a little bit unpleasant. There's a sense of dissatisfaction with the present moment. It's not painful, but the mind would like to experience something else. It's bored. So boredom is actually already an unpleasant experience. There's a sense of dissatisfaction with what is. Lastly, we can also distinguish feelings according to the source of the sense doors based on which it has arisen. They are feelings born of eye contact, feelings born of ear contact, of nose, tongue, body or mind contact. For that purpose, let us open our eyes so that seeing can occur. The experience of seeing right now, is it pleasant, unpleasant or neutral? Of course, it might depend on the object. If we see something that is visually appealing, that the mind evaluates as beautiful, that will be a pleasant feeling. When we hear the sound of the birds in the background, is it pleasant, unpleasant or neutral? We can try to smell. But oftentimes there's nothing special to smell. So then it's mostly neutral. We cannot say there's no feeling. No feeling usually means it's neutral. Tasting, unless we are eating also, there's not much to taste. So it's neither pleasant nor unpleasant. So it's probably neutral. Touching body sensations. If the body is mostly comfortable, we can call it pleasant. If there's a lot of aches and pains, I might describe it as more unpleasant. And of course, different body parts may feel quite differently from each other. And lastly, feeling born of mind contact.
can be based on a memory. And a feeling that goes along with some memories. We all have our sweet memories. And there might be also corners where the mind does not want to go. Unpleasant memories. Neutral memories. Thoughts of the future can also be pleasant or unpleasant or neutral. So we can distinguish feelings in terms of the sense base, based on which it has arisen. Feeling born of eye contact, ear contact, nose, tongue, body and mind contact. And according to the suttas, each of these six sense bases can produce pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral feeling. Again, we are only being mindful of whatever feeling arises, either in the body or in the mind, labeling it as pleasant or unpleasant or neutral. Just observing any feeling is good enough. It doesn't have to be pleasant. Any feeling is good enough for mindfulness and a clear comprehension to arise. With this, we conclude our exploration on Vedana, on the different types of feeling that can function as the basis for mindfulness. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.